Hello, and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. We gotta talk about Twitter hacks today. And they're not confined to crypto, because Elon Musk, the uh, former CEO of Dogecoin, and Bill Gates got hacked as well. Um, and they're using these accounts to promote fake crypto scams to earn money. I heard that the guys promoting these scams have already earned 7 BTC. So that's why they're doing it. They've already made like sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000. I've heard they've actually made over $100,000 um, using these official accounts to impersonate them. And here's the thing with Twitter. Twitter can pretty, only much, uh, pretty much only deactivate these accounts. I don't think they can delete them because these are huge accounts with millions of followers. They're very, very well-known accounts and you don't really want to delete them. So they can only deactivate them. And the thing is, some people are asking, well, why doesn't Twitter uh, just stop these uh, hacks, uh, hackers? It's harder than that. They just can't like stop them just because they want to. And they probably only know of the hacks after they posted the damaging tweets. Of course, the, hack, the reason the hackers want these is though, like I said, they can promote the uh, crypto scams and get people to send them Bitcoin. By the way, it doesn't really matter what authority figure says that. If someone's telling you that you should send them Bitcoin so they'll send you twice as much Bitcoin back, it's definitely 100% a scam. And it doesn't really matter if it's the president or Bill Gates or anyone else saying that. They probably got their accounts hacked. I'm actually a little bit surprised they actually didn't go after Donald Trump. But he is the president. If they did do that, the Secret Service would probably pwn them. So that's probably why they didn't go after Donald Trump yet. But um, this is actually a big, big problem for Twitter. Now, many of these accounts, like uh, the Winklevoss twins, Bill Gates, and all these other guys, Elon Musk, they probably had 2FA. I'm almost sure they had 2FA uh, enabled. So somehow the hacker got around them. There might have been some social engineering. From what I hear, um, all the Twitter accounts that got hacked actually used some kind of third-party monitoring service. So my guess is they used the back door through that third-party monitoring service to access Twitter. Twitter stock obviously has taken a dip because obviously a security breach like this is no good. I think um, these celebrities and people, they're going to think twice before actually using Twitter again to actually um, you know, announce anything. But remember, like Bill Gates' account is actually asking people to give him Bitcoin so he'll give back twice as much. That's definitely a scam. Same with Elon Musk. I don't know if these guys are actually going to sue Twitter or not because this does damage the reputation of their name. Remember, Ripple is actually suing YouTube uh, for these Brad Garlinghouse scams. And those aren't even Brad Garlinghouse's actual account, mind you. That was just someone trying to create a fake account of Brad Garlinghouse. These are the actual accounts of Bill Gates and Elon Musk that actually got uh, hacked. And they could do massive damage for people that don't know to their reputations because they might think Bill Gates or Elon Musk is actually running a scam, which could obviously hurt their brand name or their company value. So they could actually, like Twitter could actually get, end up getting uh, sued. I don't really know what kind of legal protections Twitter actually has, but I mean, this is a big, big problem for them. And this, this is going to hurt crypto's trustworthiness as well, because some people who don't know and just, they just get tricked, they might think all crypto is a scam now because of this. It's not really crypto's fault. This has actually nothing to do with cryptocurrencies. Um, this basically has people uh, has to do with people being over greedy and dumb uh, and trusting Twitter too much uh, and sending thinking there's a free lunch that someone will give them like four Bitcoins for every two that you send them. Obviously, you send them a Bitcoin, it never ever comes back. So this is very, very bad. It's a very, it's a coordinated attack because all these accounts got hacked at the same time. It looks like they were using a third party monitoring service. Um, and a lot of these big tech giants, these trusted names got hacked. This is like a hacker's dream, basically, to hack like these big accounts that have like trusted followers. And so like people who follow them will follow them blindly when they tell them to give them Bitcoin. Now, if you see my account post any of that stuff, you'll know that someone's hacked my account because I, do, I don't do giveaways and that stuff. I, don't, I stay clean away from that. I basically post information on what time I'm actually streaming. So hopefully um, this actually can get resolved soon, but Twitter is definitely going to take a big hit. And this actually is a chance for these decentralized um, social media platforms to actually gain on Twitter because Twitter just lost a lot of trust, both from these big accounts and from uh, other users on Twitter that actually lost a lot of money. They might actually get sued. And so this is a, a horrible situation for everyone involved, including Twitter. And it just shows you that Twitter is not foolproof, uh, definitely not that safe or secure, especially if you use third party monitoring tools. So don't use the third party, mon party monitoring tools. Don't let anything else access your Twitter account. And that will uh, decrease the chance that you actually get hacked. Don't fall for phishing schemes and activate that 2FA. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.